Hi, are you Mr. D'Ambrosio? Yeah. Hi, we're here to shoot the pizza video. That's today? Uh, well, on our schedule for today, yeah. Oh, shit. Can you come back tomorrow? Well, I don't uh, have anything set up. Uh, well, Mikey and Johnny told me to be here today, so I, uh... I told you. Did Mikey and Johnny pay you? Uh, not yet. All right, come back tomorrow. Let's see you Hmm. Okay. Thanks for coming back. Welcome to my home. My name is John D'Ambrosio. I'm uh, going to be turning 60 years old this August. I'm 59. I was born and raised right here in Santa Clara, about a half a mile away from this house. I still live in the same neighborhood, still hang out with the same guys, and it's a great place to be. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is the pizza that I won in 2006 in Salsa Maggiore, Italy at the World Pizza Olympics. So here we go. You take all the recipes, water, half of the sugar, and all of the yeast, and you, you um, get it to rise for about 20 minutes. It's almost like a little mini biga, and you put a little bit of the flour in it. Now, you make a well in the bowl, and in the flour I whisked in the salt and the rest of the sugar. You pour all of the yeast mixture and everything. You add your olive oil. And you stir it in real quick. After about five minutes of beating the hell out of it, it looks like this. Okay? All right. Secondly, the next thing is the cheese. We have a five cheese blend. Uh, provolone, mozzarella, asiago, fontina, and a little romano and parmesan. And then you put a little bit of crushed oregano in it, and that's my cheese pizza. And now we're going to make the sauce. First you start off with your Roma tomatoes. And to this recipe it's about a dozen. You cut these into sizes of about a twelfth. Then you get a big mixing bowl and you throw in your tomatoes. And then to the recipe your olive oil, your fresh chopped parsley, your fresh chopped basil, fresh chopped garlic, a little salt and pepper and a teaspoon of sugar. And you roll it into a big bowl and it looks like this. You can see the spices and the garlic and the basil. You put that into a Teflon pan to roast it at 275 for about an hour and a half and it comes out like this. Once your tomatoes come out, you put them in a Cousinart, if you will, add about a half a can of paste, give it a couple of uh, revolutions because you don't want it too thin and you have your sauce, which is this. All right, next ingredient is the stuffed olives. You take black and green olives, and this is a blend of three Italian cheeses, mascarpone, gorgonzola, and goat cheese. You put them in, you melt it in a microwave, get a nice smooth consistency, you put it in your baking sock, and then you just, and it's a pain in the ass, you just take your olive, and you stuff them. And you have your stuffed olives right here. The next day in the morning, you have to make the sausage and mushroom mix. You need two links of, um, for eight ounces actually of Italian link and eight ounces of the Calabrese hot. Then you need olive oil, crushed garlic, butter pat, roasted pine nuts, some nice cremini mushrooms, basil, and Reggiano Parmesan. Now this is what you do. You take a little bit of the olive oil, put it in the pan, you strip your sausage, get it out of the casing, and you crush it up, and you get it hot by medium heat, and you go to brown the sausage. You brown your sausage, drain it with a slotted spoon, and then it looks like this. And you can see the color of both the hot and the Calabrese style sausage, and you put it in a mixing bowl. In the same pan, you take advantage of the natural drippings, a little bit more olive oil, then some butter, and fresh chopped garlic. You get that nice and hot, then you throw in your mushrooms with a little salt, and you brown your mushrooms. And then when you're done, it looks like this. You take that, you throw that into the bowl so you can mix them. And then this is when you add your fresh chopped basil, your Reggiano Parmesan cheese, and your toasted pine nuts. And you mix it all together. So now we're ready to make a pizza. First you start off with the dough. I'll try to do this quick. 
You never use a rolling pin with the dough. It takes out all the air, and you want air in your pizza. So you always use your fingertips. You finger it down. You make a nice little ridge to make a little crust. This is the old-fashioned way. And you flip it on your hand, and you pull. Now, I'm not Tony Gemignani, but hey, a little flour on the board so it doesn't stick. I don't know if I made a big enough crust, but we'll find out soon enough. First thing is the sauce. Then you put a little Romano in the sauce. Then you put half of your cheese blend. Then next, throw on your olives. And then your sausage and cremini mushroom mixture with the pine nuts and the Reggiano cheese. And then you put the rest of your cheese mixture on the top. And here we go, ready to go in the oven. Almost burned it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, are you rolling? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is the pizza I won in uh, 2006 at uh, Salsa Maggiore, Italy, in the World Pizza Olympic. Um, I hope you like it. It's a delicious pizza. I won the first year with this pizza. And in the second year, I won with something similar to this in the thick category. So, enjoy. I made my first pizza, I think, when I was eight years old at my uh, dad and uncle's uh, restaurant. And I've been making pizzas ever since. I know how to cook. I think I know pizza pretty well. Uh, I kicked almost all of their butts two years in a row. And then the Pizza Olympics back in 06 and 07. In closing, uh, the only thing I got to say is... Uh, I've had a pretty good run. Life's been good to me. Um, if I died tomorrow, I'd probably die a happy man. Um, had a great wife, great kids, a uh, great career. Um, and uh, enjoy life. Every day is a gift. Every day is a gift. And the simple things in life make you happy. Good pizza, good wine, good family, good friends. So in that closing, uh, let's close this up. Let's eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right.